Hey guys, today's new video is all about salads. I'm gonna share three simple salads that are easy to make and so delicious. Perfect for those summer days. So let's get started. For the first salad, those are the ingredients I used. Obviously you can get creative and make your own adjustments if you want to. I start with about two cups of mixed greens and now I'm going to cut half of a cucumber, a piece of red onion and a carrot. To do so I'm using this awesome new tool I received called Sumo Slicer, which is amazing to slice, grate and shred in just a matter of seconds. It comes with three different drums and it's so easy to use and clean. Look at those perfectly sliced cucumbers. If you're interested in purchasing one, I'll leave the link down in the description. I slice the onions and add them to the salad and now I'm changing the blades to grate the carrots. You can do this with a regular cheese grater if you want, but the sumo slicer saves so much time and you can cut some extra to store in the fridge ready for use. I love adding carrots to my salad to add a bit of sweetness. I also cut and slice some avocado which is incredibly nutritious and then I change the drum again and crush up some walnuts to sprinkle on top with some hemp seeds and some goat cheese. My final touch is adding some super crunchy and delicious chickpeas that are so easy to make. You just need to drain them and dry them really well. If they're not dried well, they will not turn crunchy, so make sure not to skip this step. And once they're dried, I added one tablespoon of olive oil and some of my favorite seasoning. Salt, black pepper, paprika and turmeric. Give it a good mix and taste them to see if they're flavored enough and spread them around in a flat pan. If some of the skins peels off while you're drying them, remove them or they will burn. I put them in the oven at 390 Fahrenheit for 25-30 minutes and the last 3 minutes I put them on broil. Once they're cooled down, they are so good and crunchy. They're also great for snacks and I love them on this salad for an extra crunch and as a source of protein. For the dressing I'm using some balsamic glaze, olive oil and salt. I mix it around and enjoy. My second salad is a couscous salad and you will need the following ingredients. I start by boiling half a cup of water and once it boils I add a bit of salt. I turn off the heat and I add half a cup of couscous. I give it a quick stir and I cover it with a lid for 5 minutes. Meanwhile, I dice some pre-washed colorful tomatoes and salt them. After the five minutes, the couscous is ready, so I added one teaspoon of olive oil and I break up the clumps with a fork. I put the couscous in a bowl and I add the tomatoes and some pre-washed arugula. As a dressing, I add two tablespoons of freshly made basil pesto. To make it, I put a clove of garlic in the blender with two cups of pre-washed and dried fresh basil, a bit less than half a cup of oil and a quarter cup of toasted almonds that I previously toasted in a pan for a few minutes and let them cool down before I added min. Lastly, about a quarter teaspoon of salt and I blend everything until smooth. Traditional Genovese pesto uses pine nuts rather than almonds and also calls for parmesan. However, I like to change it up sometimes. Obviously, you'll have much more pesto than necessary, but it will store in the fridge up to 7 days. I add some pieces of almonds for an extra crunch and I mix everything well. This salad is one of my favorite. It's so flavorful and yet so easy to make. Last, but not least, a classical Sicilian salad that will be ready in just five minutes. I know some of you might find it really weird combination of flavors, but orange salad is a typical and loved dish in my homeland. I peel the orange like this. In Italian, we would call this way of peeling pelare a vivo, which it literally translates to peeling alive which sounds cruel, but it just simply indicates a technique to peel without any of the skin. If I miss some white spots, I cut them away at the end. 
Once the oranges are peeled a vivo, I cut them in slices like this and then into smaller pieces. If there are some seeds, remove them and I put the oranges into a bowl. Now I prepare some fennel. I usually cut out the stems, split it in half and take out the outer layer. I cut it in slices and add it to the salad with some sliced purple onion. Lastly, I add some red chili flakes, oil and salt. I give it a good mix and I'm ready to eat this amazing explosion of flavors. Try it out and let me know what you think. I know it's different from the usual, but you may be surprised to find out that you love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe for a new video every single Thursday. See you there.